This is a complete select menu builder guide for Discord.js version 14. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we start, I just want to say that I am going to be using the slash command package for this video. If you'd like to get this, go ahead and watch the video in the description below. Otherwise, just go ahead and use your handler as you normally would. So we can go to community and we can do select menu.js. In here, we can define the slash command builder. So we can do const slash command builder equals require. And then we can do at discord.js slash builders. Just like that, we can define a few more things. We can do const embed builder, action row builder, and select menu builder. Just like that. We can say equals require, and then we can say discord.js, just like that. We come down here and say module.exports equals, we can open this up, data, new slash command builder. We can say dot set name, and in here we'll say select menu. We can say dot set description. And we'll say this is a select menu guide. We can add a comma. We can come down here and say async execute. And then we can say interaction. We can open this up. Before we keep going, I just want to say that I have a brand new bot. It is the server manager and it has advanced logging, uh, staff apps, and other really cool server management behind the scenes features that you can get for your server by adding the bot to your server. This works really well with ASCII as ASCII has all of the moderation commands and this kind of has the logging systems that you need to run a server. Uh, so both of the links will be in the description if you'd like to add them to your server. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and keep going with the video. So we can go ahead and actually make these select menus. So we can do const menu equals new action row builder we can come down here and say add components we can open this up and say new select menu builder then we can come down here and do set custom id and we'll say select we can then say set placeholder so this is what a placeholder is going to look like it's just going to say nothing selected when you don't have anything selected so we can go ahead and do that in here we can say nothing selected or something like that then we can come down here and add options we can open this up we can open this up again and do label. And here we can say first option. We can then add a comma. We can say description. And here we can say this is option number one or something like that. We can add a comma. We can add a value. So the value will be option one or something like that. We don't have to use capitals, but I'm gonna make it clear by using capitals. So we're gonna add a comma here. We're gonna add a comma here as well. We can open this up again and we'll do label one more time. We can say second option. We can add a comma, we can do description. Right here we can say this is option number one. We can add a comma and we can say value. In the value we can say option two. Just like that, we can add a comma, and we can add a comma here, and we can also add a comma right here, and then we can go ahead and add a semicolon here, and then come down here and say await interaction dot reply, and we'll say content, and then we can say uh, this is a select menu, just like that, and then we can do components. And we will say menu, just like that. Now keep in mind, you can attach this to an embed or any message you would like, but I'm just gonna do this for example. Now, another thing you can do is you can set a min value and a max value. So I'm gonna set a min value and uh, that min value is going to be one. And then I'm gonna set a max value and that will be two. What this means is the minimum options you can select is one and the max is two, right? So if you just want it to be, you can only select one and then go ahead and leave it uh, normal or you can just leave it as the minimum value, uh, but you can add as many as you'd like. For example, if you're doing reaction rules and the select menu is for picking your own rules, you might want to have as many options as you have for rules. All right, so now we can go ahead and actually handle uh, the select menus. So we can go ahead and head over to the index.js. In our index.js, just make sure you have the events defined up here in your required discord.js. Just go ahead and scroll all the way down here. We can say client on. We can do events interaction create. We can say comma async interaction. And then we can add an arrow function and go ahead and open this up. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to say if uh, no interaction dot is select menu. So basically what that's saying is if the interaction we are reading in this event is not a select menu, it's just going to return and do nothing. Uh, then we can say if interaction dot custom ID equals 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 in here, you're going to put the custom ID. So as you can see here, my custom ID is select. So we can just go ahead and put that right here. We can go ahead and open this up in here. We can say let choices equals, and then we can add an empty quotation marks just like that. We can say await interaction dot values dot for each. And then we can say async value, open this up with an arrow function and curly braces. So in here, we're going to do choices plus equals. And then in here, we're going to go ahead and pass in our value just like that. So then we're going to come down here and we're going to do await interaction dot reply. 
and we'll say content and we can just pass in our value just like that. So what this is going to do is it's going to read them and it's going to pass in the value that you chose in the select menu. If you want it to be like after you select a value, the select menu disappears, you can do components and then you can just pass in nothing. Um, but for me, I would like them to stay. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Before we actually restart the bot, I did make a mistake here. I put in the value. You're going to want to put in your choices variable, uh, not the value. Make sure you put in choices in your content. So after doing that, we can go ahead and actually restart the bot and test this out. Over in the Discord, we can run our select menu command and as you can see it's going to say this is a select menu the placeholder is going to say nothing is selected if we actually open this up it's going to say first option uh, with the description as this is option number one and it's going to say second option with the description as this is option number one it should say number two i messed it up just put in option number two or whatever you want to put in as a description so i'm going to select one and as you can see it's going to allow me to select two because i put my maximum value to two um, but i can also select one because the minimum value is one uh, but i'm going to select them both and i'm just going to go ahead and select them and as you can see, it's going to say option one and option two. So as you can see, there are no spaces in between this. Uh, to fix that, what you can do is you can go into the code. You can go right here where it says value. You can add a space before and after it and then go ahead and try it again. So over in the Discord server, we can run select menu again and we can go ahead and select both of them. And as you can see, it's going to give us option one and option two with a space in between. I could also run this one more time and I can just select one of them. And as you can see, it's going to say option one. Or if I remove that and select it option two, it's going to go ahead and say option two there's many things you can do with this you can do like a select menu uh pick roles or something like that where you can select the roles you want in the start of a server and you'll get those roles or you could do a help command like you can select the page you want to go to and it would bring you there which would be pretty cool as well um all of this is expandable and you can do whatever you want with it but this is just the uh baseline guide to actually read and handle these select menus if you need any help be sure to join the discord coding lounge in the description below and we'll be able to help you out um and yeah with that i will see you guys in the next video